I uh, just want to start by thanking uh, our fans from the hurricane walk to uh, the energy in the stadium today. Our student section was incredible. And uh, to be honest with you guys, uh, that's why you come to the University of Miami to coach the football team. That, that, we're really, really excited the support we got today and the energy in that stadium. And I think our guys responded. So I'm going to say thank you to all of them. Uh, thought the guys played hard, uh, played tough. You know, we made some mistakes, um, but obviously, uh, you know, we were stopping them on defense and, uh, and running the ball on offense against a team that doesn't give up uh, much uh, rushing yards. So, uh, a good win for us. Obviously, we got another bowl team coming in. The hits just keep on coming. So, uh, we, uh, we got to regroup here tonight and, and, and get ready for uh, Kansas State uh, in a week. Coach, it's early, but how big of a deal was it to not start off over two and get this victory tonight against the team? Oh, it's big. I mean, it's Ohio State, you know, six-time defending Big Ten champion. Uh, they know how to win. They, they seldom beat themselves. And uh, and just in the manner that we won, I think, is really important to our guys. We, we, we talk about uh, being in great condition and uh, and being able to finish uh, games, and, and uh, that's what we did on offense. I, I don't know what the final drive was. I think it was nine minutes, uh, the final uh, drive of the game, and, and uh, that's what Miami Hurricane football should be. Play good defense, uh, make some you know, some explosive plays on defense and then, uh, and then run the ball in the fashion that we did. Yeah, what was your mindset at the end of the first half? It seems you could have called a timeout at 10 seconds. The clock had we already had two interceptions, okay, to be quite honest with you. And uh, I didn't want to get greedy. I thought uh, if we could kick a field goal there, uh, if we, would, we would have one shot at the end zone. And as a defensive coordinator, I would have put eight guys in the end zone. And, you know, again, you can do it a bunch of ways. But I didn't want to get a situation now where we're, uh, you know, we're uh, – we used our timeout now, and, and, and we get a sack or something like that. I wanted to get the three, and then regroup and get the ball in the second half. And I thought that was the right play. Now the job you guys did defensively against the pass, we'll be back in the middle. Yeah, uh, number one, I thought Coach Nafield did just an incredible job uh, throughout the game and, and uh, the defensive staff. Uh, but you know, clearly, you know, the guys that we had back on defense made a big difference. I'm not even gonna, you know, try to hide that. I mean. Sean Spence runs the show, you know, uh, and the guys that, that did make moves had another week, uh, another uh, six practices to be in those positions. JoJo Nicholas, for instance, at safety. Uh, Denzel Perryman played more uh, reps for us. You know, uh, Fletch, you know, played over at the Sam uh, in this game. But Sean, Forston, Ojomo, those guys made a big difference. Uh, you know, we, felt we, we put more pressure on the quarterback, obviously, and, you know, again, we're trying to forget uh, last week. You know, what's the say Again, I mean, uh, uh, all I've ever known about Miami football is that's how they play. It, it wasn't about anything else but just being relentless. And I hope now they see uh, that's how you win games. You, you, you know, you make plays doing that. And that didn't look good. I mean, the kid was coming in, moving the ball, uh, running in space, and uh, we just make a hustle play there, you know. So, and then, uh, you know, we got some long runs because guys were down there blocking. And uh, I, obviously, I think our conditioning is good. I thought, uh, you know, we, we kind of warmed down in the second half. Coach, how did you feel about your uh, special teams, punt returns? Uh, did we, I mean, did we even punt return it? Or, was, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, I mean, what do you want me to say? Uh, I don't think we, I think we fought fair called them all, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, Travis had the one big one, uh, which was good. But uh, the other ones, you know, we, we kind of, uh, a fair call. I thought the kid did a good job punting, you know, in, in fairness to him. And uh, uh, to be honest with you, Travis did what he was taught there in the one, but not the, not the first one. Right. Uh, the one I had him re kick, and, and then uh, he did what he was taught, and the kid just hit a wedge. You know, it's fun backwards, you know, that's going to happen. But um, again, their kid did a good job, but I thought our punter, I thought Dalton answered the call in the second half. First big environment that to really change the field on him a couple of times was, was great to see. Coach, you last half full, you win the game, but obviously getting over the two interceptions by Ja'Cory, uh, almost through a third. How concerned are you with that? All right, we just beat the Ohio State Buckeyes 24-6. There ain't no half full glass here. I'm just telling you. There ain't no half full glass. Okay, kids play tough. They play with passion. Right, we beat a team that I think had basically 10 100-yard rushers. I, I, you know, again, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just saying. You know, I mean, it's it's going to be a it's going to be a war when you play this game. They don't lose a lot. You know, they just have not lost a lot. And the only time they have lost is when the other team scored 24 or more in the last, I think, you know, five years. They've lost seven games. 
So uh, we'll get those things corrected. But I, I thought he made some big time throws. I thought he had command of the offense. And obviously, he ran it like a veteran in the last nine minutes of the game. There, there's some things there we got to fix. Uh, but it, it's that's that's at least a half full glass at this point. Now, how was the team that only given up 40 yards on the ground on average the first two games? What did they have right behind them throw on it? They don't have, but throw hard to get 54 on the first half. What did that do as far as tone the second? I think they did a lot. You know, the kids came off the ball. You know, that Simon that they have, that 54 and that 52, those guys are, those guys are tough, sweet, 42. Those guys, they're, they're rugged. They're rugged guys. And um, as I said, I, I think they've only had 10 100-yard rushers in the last, what, seven years. I mean, that's, I mean, what is it? That's, you know, who does that? You know, so for us to come out and do that was, was great, and I'm real proud of our guys. Yeah, I'll talk a little bit about the experience of holding up to the stadium and the fans are shaking the bus before you guys get there. <laughs> Yep. I mean, if our kids weren't juiced before that, and again, I, that's, I, that's the first thing I did on TV when they asked me after the game, I said thank you to the fans. Because the Hurricane Walk, incredible energy, uh, I mean, fervent energy, um, passion. Uh, so yeah, we really appreciate that, and a lot of energy from our student section, our fans, all game, you know, all game. So Was it scary at all with the bus shaking? No, I just couldn't walk down the stairs. You know, I'm not a very good athlete, you know, to begin with. So. <laughs> I just tried to manage it down the, down the stairs, but it was uh, it was really well done. It was good. Coach, what was it like running through the tunnel for the first time? It was good. It was good. It was me, Lamar, and Mike. So how do you think I how do you think I fared? <laughs> I stopped after about 30 yards. Coach, you talked about the offensive line. It seems like the protection was good. Did you some smooth this week? It yeah. Was good paid off. Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, again, we'll, we'll, we'll look at the tape. Um, yeah. But I thought those guys did well. I and mean, obviously, we're in condition. Uh, we we got to get to the point where we're playing more. And I think we'll, I think we will do that early on. We were just kind of we didn't we had so many variables going on uh, because of different things, injuries, and and uh, because of suspensions. We didn't want to just keep mixing up the variables on the offense. We wanted to keep some things static, and uh, so we did that with the old line. But uh, hopefully, uh, we're getting to the point now. We'll see we'll see bunch more. We'll see we'll see Fig and. And Feliciano, and and, uh, and we'll go from there. Coach, you talked a lot since you've been here about finishing plays, finishing games. Uh, is that a learn by doing thing? And, and that's something that the players, until they experience doing that's something. It. They, they just did. It. They yeah. just finished. They they finished. Uh, you know, again, we'll look at the tape, but they finished every play on defense. I and mean, it was guys laying out all over the place. They ran the ball like they ran the ball like Miami Hurricanes. Again, I've I've been on the other side of that thing. Okay, and, and it's not pretty when it's going and. And they, they were running to the ball, and we were finishing plays on offense. And, uh, you know, and so, I mean, it's, hopefully it's a good good learning lesson for us. Uh, Coach, you already started a fashion statement. A lot of fans were staring for a long time. The pressure. Let's just talk about Saturdays. Glass is half full on that one. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think I think I think Mark did a great job. You know, he uh, he changed a couple of things. Uh, you know, again, I'm not going to tell you too much, but he changed a couple of things that uh, clearly we had six practices, and so you're a little reluctant to just go ahead and give some things up. But he changed some things, and and JoJo and Vaughn back there, they get it, and Sean Spence gets it. Uh, we really didn't have that luxury to that extent last week because we were playing with a lot of guys in different spots or new spots, so. Um, it was nice to be able to, uh, for Mark to be able to communicate to him and get some things changed. Coach, can you talk about the faith that you had in the you had before you and after the interception? Yeah, I mean, I, I just, again, I believe in the kid, and uh, I, I think he's I think he's really going to have a really, really good year for us. I really believe that. And, uh, again, I, you know, sometimes, you know, when you, again, I, you know, I wasn't here, so, you know, maybe it, was, it would have been a different situation if, if you know, he had started off a little bit slower in his career, and now he's just coming on. But he's got way too much experience for us not to not to try to pull that from him. And, and uh, he's got way too much maturity and leadership for us not to try to harvest that. And, and that's what we're going to do. And, and we'll get the other thing squared away. But, uh, you know, uh, for, for the plays that he didn't do well, he, you know, he's, he's sitting there on third and one, and, and uh, he's scrambling. And he didn't throw it. He, he pulled it down and, and converted a big first down on their bench. So uh, he did some good things, too. Considering, yes, sir. Coach, considering what this program has been through the last month, what do you think this win can do as far as your players' confidence? 
Oh, I think he could do a lot. I mean, I just got done telling him. I mean, you know, you can't get too excited. You just have to go back to work. We've been preaching that since we got here. It's about the process, and I think we, I think we executed the game plan today. I think we came out fast. We wanted to come out fast. We wanted to, to play, you know, at a high energy level. You know, um, kind of thought we were in good condition to do that, and, and then we wanted to finish the game. That was the threefold, and, and we did that. So, hopefully, we got confidence, but. It's back to work, you know. We gotta learn. We gotta learn how to how to how to do that for a, a whole season. And Kansas State's gonna be a tough team. Last question. Coach, you called out the news last week. You haven't been what you saw. Did you take match that back? Oh yeah. No, I thought we had leadership. Again, I thought we had good energy on the sideline and good energy in the stadium. And uh, that wasn't all easy. I mean, it was it was a lot of tough plays there. And you know, we had two interceptions. And then uh, we botched the fourth and one. But I mean, that, I I never saw anybody splinter. I don't see anybody pointing the finger. And uh, I know you guys don't think it's a big deal, but we lost as a team last week. We lost as a team. We got on, on, the, on the plane, and, and, and nobody blamed anybody, coaches included, and we went back to work. And today we won as a team, but they never splintered when things went wrong. In fact, the defense, I think, uh, responded to every one of those situations, holding them to three and then getting a stop at the end. Okay, guys, thank you.